Hello, I'm Paul Bannon, and I'm going to show you how I textured this M4 using Quixel Suite 2.0. So rather than create a color map, I group my meshes up into the component materials, name them, then export it out as an OBJ. Now in Dedu, I load the mesh and all the groups are available via the drop down menu. Here you can import any maps you have created and also choose which maps you want Quixel to bake for you. For this M4 I have baked out the ambient equation already so chose only to bake out my curvature and object space normal map inside Quixel to help me control masking later. After hitting create, open Freedo to view your model. Hold shift and right click to rotate the HDRI for better lighting angles. In Freedo you can choose to only show a specific group to help see what you're working on more easily. There is also a drop down to view each texture individually. Alternatively, press 1, 2, 3, 4 on your keyboard to cycle between different textures. Now I hit Add Smart Material to choose from the huge library of materials that ship with Quixel. For the primary metal, I chose Black Gun Metal 01. Another cool feature with Freedo is the ability to change the HDRI, allowing you to see your model in different lighting conditions. My first objective when texturing is to block out all my materials using smart materials, making sure it reads well in its factory new state. I now proceed to add the correlating smart material for each group of my mesh, such as rubber, aluminium and plastic. Next I isolate the group I am going to be working on and go into the Dynamask editor. Now choose one of the presets to wear away the edges of your metal. By default the simple slider options are available. To enable the advanced mode click on the show advanced box. Tweak the sliders until you achieve the required look. Once you have finished tweaking the mask sliders, it is time to paint directly onto the model. This is such an awesome feature which allows me to quickly fix any seam issues and add bespoke wear to any areas I need it. Just like in Photoshop, you have access to a plethora of custom brushes that can all be tweaked in the brush settings. To paint, simply drag your mouse cursor across your mesh. Use the X to change between painting and erasing the mask. You can also change the brush opacity using the slider. To change the brush size, simply hold B, the right mouse button and drag. To rotate the brush, do the same except instead of holding the right mouse button, hold the left. If you prefer to see your mask as a black and white texture, that can also be done by clicking on the box labelled Show Mask. To add some dirt to my M4, I simply add a new material at the top of my layers. I chose sand as it fits into the backstory of an M4 and some kind of desert warfare. Use one of the procedural masks so the sand only shows up in the gun's grooves and crevices. Then like before, manual paint onto the mask to add or remove sand as needed.
once you are done painting onto the mask. Tweak the opacity slider on the layer so that the sand isn't as visible. If you hold down control while you drag a layer slider, it affects all channels you are currently working with, such as albedo, gloss, spec and so on. Finally, I'm going to bring in some decals. I use my UV layout as a guide so I know where to place my decal. Simply import your image or text and place it in the desired area on your UV. Don't forget, you can change the blending modes in both Photoshop and also on the DDo window. Now it's just a case of adding more decals, text and tweaking the masks on all your materials to get your desired look. Thank you for watching, hope this helps, see you next time.